welcome back. I'm gonna do another quick get ready with me video. I wanna feature some new products I've picked up that have not been on my channel. I got two little flying saucers here by Becca. This is the bronzer in Sunset Waves. This is a gradient sunlit bronzer. I also have the Becca X Chrissy Teigen collab, the highlighter, super pretty. This blush I've talked about a jillion times on my YouTube channel. It's the Kevin Aquan Neo Blush in Sunset. So I have a bunch of stuff to show you guys. Again, I'm gonna try and speed through this. You guys know I'm still trying to get used to doing like get ready with me videos. So hopefully you'll enjoy this one. Definitely let me know down in the comments and let's get into it. So for eyeshadows today, I want to use my Singles by Sydney Grace, and I have two palettes that I've created from that particular brand. These are all her like blue and green shades that I have, and then I have the more neutral shades in one palette, as well as some yellows and pink tones in here. I thought it would be fun to use this one because I haven't dipped into her dupe of the Icy Bitch um, Tarte palette dupe situation so I wanted to use some of these shades so without further blabbering I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First shade I've been dying to use is the shade called Oasis and it's like a beautiful blue so I'm gonna go ahead and place that in the crease. Now I'm gonna go ahead in this dark blue and deepen up the outer corner. I also decided that I'm gonna do a different eye look with the neutral palette on this eye. I've been really enjoying doing that. It's just kind of fun and it's a great way for me to just showcase like the eyeshadows. Even though it looks kind of weird to have two different eyeshadow looks, I don't really mind. So just darkening it out. Shades really blend beautifully. And then let's just grab some of this color and just deepen it up some more on the outer corner. And this is a Morphe M441 brush. Okay, so now I wanna work with some of the shimmers. I really want to use some of the shimmery shades. Oh God, they're all so beautiful. Let's try and do a lot of different colors. So I'm gonna take this color and try and put it on the closest to the inner corner and we're gonna try and do a gradient effect then I'm gonna go with this color which is like a beautiful teal like a light teal shade kind of hit the middle part of my lid and then I want to use Meg Megalodon which is this beautiful teal again and kind of stamp that as well towards the middle kind of mixing those two shades and at the end, I want to use this color, which is like a more smoky version of the teals. So it's beautiful. I just prefer using my fingers with shades like this. And we're going to use some JB too at the end. That color, I remember the name because I'm like Justin Bieber. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much it for this eye look. Super duper easy to do. I'm going to finish it up, of course. At the end, once I get my foundation on and stuff, we'll do the lower lash line. Um, but that turned out pretty well. This is a very easy look. You guys know I don't do anything too complicated. Now let's do this eye. Okay, so here is the palette I'm gonna work on this eye with. I wanna do like a yellow pink look. So I'm gonna break into some of these uh, matte yellow shades. I'm gonna grab another Morphe M441. This one is clean. Going into this matte yellow. Let me show you. This shade is not showing up as yellow as I want it to. I mean, I can still see it, but it's definitely more of a lighter yellow shade. I was hoping it would be more of like a bright yellow, but that's okay. I'm just gonna, you know, very kind of carelessly blend this all over my lid. And in my crease as well. Just to kind of set the concealer I used to prime my eye, orange color right here. 
And I'm just gonna set that on the outer corner just to darken it up a little bit, give it some dimension and also this dark plummy color. Oh my, <laughs> that was a lot. Okay, going back into the yellow, we're gonna try and safely blend that shade. <laughs> it's much more pigmented than I thought, but we're able to go ahead and save it by blending with the mustardy color. So that's fine. So I'm going to stop there with the mats. Now I want to add some shimmer to my lid. Again, I'm going to use my finger. I've got so many pinks to work with. So let's go ahead with this first color here. I'm going to put that in my inner corner. I'm just going to like press it in. Such a pretty color. And then I'm going to go in with this one, which I think is Mil uh, Maids of Milking from their um, 12 Days of Christmas collection. And I'm going to stamp that on. It's more like a purpley pink duochrome. And I love that. So at this point, most of the yellow it is gone from my crease, but that's okay. I'll do a yellow look some other time. And then I want to use this one, which is Ladies Dancing, which is like another beautiful duochrome from the 12 Days of Christmas collection. So like, first impressions, I think I like the blue look better. It's just more vibrant. I feel like this eye looks a little like, but uh, let's go ahead and finish up my makeup and see what happens.
Okay guys, so I did go ahead and zoom you in a little bit closer so you could see the makeup look. I definitely love the blue eye better. The shades just kind of contrast with my skin a little bit more. The pink one is a lot more muted and I'm kind of disappointed. Oh, this damn dog. He always wants my attention. Okay, so um, yeah, the pink, I was just a little bit more. Teddy, what do you think? You like it? You like it? You want to give me kisses? Um, ah! Damn it, dog. So the pink turned out a little bit more muted than I had planned, but I'm gonna have to play with those a little bit more just to see if I can get more pigmentation from some of those shades that I've been really excited about. The Huda foundation I have had for a while. It's definitely a really awesome foundation. I took this with me when I went to Sri Lanka and the humidity in Sri Lanka is insane. And I would totally recommend this for you guys because it stayed put. It actually like hung on to my face when I was like dripping in sweat, so I love that. Already talked your ear off about the Hourglass Foundation. I do love the new Becca Compacts that I picked up, the Chrissy Teigen and the bronzer that I picked up, so I'm gonna keep using those. The only thing with the Chrissy Teigen is I'm worried about that first highlighter shade looking a little too like silvery on me. It's not usually the highlight I go for, but I will keep you guys posted. The All Nighter Setting Powder. Not sure about, I feel like I need to dunk my head in a pool to actually tell you guys if that thing is worth investing in. Wanted to show you guys the Neo blush because I like rave about that constantly. Also these little guys from Give Me Glow, this shade is like my perfect nude shade. I really want this in a full size, but I'm like, Karen, why don't you just finish the freaking size you have first? So this shade is Dirty Pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I love this color for my skin tone. So that's everything in this little get ready with me video. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, comments, thoughts. I'm all ears and I will catch you on my next video. Bye guys.